phone lines is crazy. This is the Bush weekend, and I'm not talking about, you know, pussies and all that. We, you know, because every girl out there do the Nicholas just shave their pussy. <laughs> Wax. No, 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 I like the ones that got the hair on there. I like, <laughs> you know, I like to find my way to the Snoop, can, 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 please tell me that you you prefer the natural. I want the bush, bush. man. I want the, the afro. I want that natural down. I want to be able to comb it and, Come on, and braid it and flip we're, it and dip we're it. We're in know, the so. 70s right yeah, now. Yeah, I like to rub my fingers through yeah. your hair, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, I know, God damn it, man. You hear me? <laughs> what it do, who? Yo, man, I don't know, man. This is like the best day of my life. Floyd Mayweather just hollered at us yes, for an hour. Big the deal. Champ. That's the champ right the there. Champ. Did you bet on him or did nigga? You? I never not bet on nobody but the champ. You understand me? You know not better than better against but motherfucking champ, man. He goes to work. <laughs> where, 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 where you at the fight? Did you enjoy it? I was in uh, I was in Vegas. Oh, I got, so you, you know, I got a house out there in Vegas. So I was at home with my kids and my wife watching the fight in the living room because I didn't want to be dealing with all of that. Oh, the chaos. Snoop, turn around. Can I get a picture? Yeah. Snoop. So I'm like, nah. I, I come to watch the fight. I really want to enjoy the fight. And a lot of times when. When we go as celebrities, we don't get to enjoy the fight because, mm. you know, so many people want to get pictures with us. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it was, I mean, the fight was crazy, man. It, it was. It went to the end, and it's, you know, like Jay-Z would say, men lie, numbers don't, statistics. He, you know, he won. You he know did. what I'm saying? He did. He Everybody did. wants the Tyson fight. Everybody wants the knockout. The knockout, but when you got two great fighters, it's hard to get the knockout. Like, the last great fight I seen like that with two great fighters in the knockout was um, Hagler against Tommy Hearns. Mm. And they bang from the from the blow like pop. As soon as the whistle came on, they was gone. And it's like you don't. That's a great fight, but at the same time, I like to see a long fight to see the the strategy and the ins and outs. And you know, then we watch mm. it back on, on on HBO or whatnot. We see the slow motion shots. How Floyd was banking his ass. <laughs> Speaking of uh, a sure shot, I can't wait for the NWA movie to come out. Are, are, are you satisfied? With who's playing you? What's his name? Keith Stanfield. Yeah, he dope. He dope. Is he really you, man? Did, did you, it's hard did to you be meet me. this guy? Did, 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 hey, it's hard to be me, but he he did a great job, though. He did a great job. I felt I felt the emotion of Snoop Dogg. It's not so much the look. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I would have preferred Nipsey Hussle for the look. That's what I thought it would be. But, I thought Nipsey would but be. But Nipsey it. wanted to, you know, he wanted to do his own thing, which I respect that. Like, he don't okay. want to be in my shadows as far as, you know, being so much associated with Snoop Dogg. And he's doing a great job of creating his own lane right now. So I respect him for that. Yeah, because I thought maybe you would pull him to the side. Yo, man, you I tried to holler at him, though. You know, yeah. I reached for him. Though. I was like, look, Nip, come on, cub, play the, play the dog, man. He was like, ah, come on, Unc, you know, I want to. And I, I got him. <laughs> I feel him because I'm like, I'm the same kind of way. Like, I don't want to be up under your shadow forever. I want to be able to say that I'm just as big as you, if not bigger than you. And that's mm. that's the spirit that we push on the West. We 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 strive to be better than. Speaking of craziness, uh, do you feel sorry for, for Suge with, with all that situation and all that stuff due to the I, fact that you made up with Suge? I do, and yeah. I, that's that's why I feel sorry for him because I made up with him, and me and him, we got on a great page before this this nonsense started happening because mm. I play the role of being the big man, you know what I'm saying? I don't ever kick a man when he down, and I always look forward to you know building a relationship with somebody who I had a relationship with, and I feel like a lot of times it just be misunderstandings and it be people in the entourage as opposed to the two people really hating each other. I never hated him, and he never really hated me. How could you hate me when I made you $100 million? And how could wow. I hate you when you helped me, you know, build a team to beat my murder case? Wow. So it's like, that's it's I forgot about that. Yeah. I didn't forget about it. That's crazy. It's a give and take thing. And it's like, that's why I've always had an open heart for him. And people was like, well, man, how could you make up with him? Mm. And that, that, you don't understand the dynamics that this was my friend before he became my enemy. Wow. But he's, he was my friend first. That's crazy, man. And that whole era right there, I have one question from Twitter. And there's a freestyle that I played, which is really long. You and Tupac, if there's a cure for this, where was that recorded at? And that's like a crazy long freestyle. Do you remember it yes, out of I the remember. thousand songs doom, you've done? Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> doom, doom. <laughs> nigga, me and that nigga was high as a motherfucker. We had a. I was asking about that because y'all did four or five verses on that. Song. It was like twenty bitches in the room, so you know we were showing out. <laughs> nigga, like nigga, the bitches was like, "Can y'all make a song right now without writing it?" <laughs> nigga was like, "Put the beat on." Get like, the fuck, fuck out of here. Yeah, that's, you know, back then we was showing out, man. We was living a life. We was really showing out. Like, this is my friend. Like, imagine a friend of yours actually being able to come live with you. Wow. And then he bring his flavor to you. And he bring shit to the house that y'all didn't have. And, and then the house gets bigger and better. And it's like, it was a perfect friendship. That was one of my real close homeboys. That's crazy, man. And, uh, of course, we, you know, it's been 11 years, B, with Pharrell. Yeah. What? Yeah. Drop it like it's hot came out eleven years ago. You yeah. hear this, Nikki? I yeah. I know. That is crazy. But you was in high school? 
Um, I think yes, she, I, I, think she I was, was. You were a sperm back then, right? She was no, I wasn't a sperm. I was in high school. <laughs> okay, you were your father's. Uh, she was in ninth grade. She was in <laughs> ninth grade wearing that little schoolgirl dress. Being That's right. Girl. And yeah. I was like, drop it like a song. Yeah, that's before she went bad. She was a good girl back then. <laughs> white, white girls really blew that song up, huh? They did. <laughs> Yes, we did. Oh, whatever, man. Drop it like it's hot. The remix with Jay Z. Wh- wh- whose idea was to switch the beat? Was that done originally on the original beat, or Pharrell remixed it because Jay Z had to get on it? Well, Jay Z wanted to be on it, so Pharrell put a different beat on it. Okay. Um, one thing about Jay Z, Pharrell, and Snoop Dogg, it's like a friendly competition that goes on when we make music. Like whenever Pharrell worked with Jay Z, I'd be like, "Nigga, why you didn't give me none of that shit?" <laughs> and I'm pretty sure. The nigga Jay-Z tells Pharrell the same shit. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, so you're going to get Snoop Dropper like it's hot, nigga? You ain't going to give me nothing like that? <laughs> <laughs> did you want Jay-Z on the original beat? Did, did that ever come up? No, I wanted him on a... Um, it, diff- was, it was a different song that I wanted him on, but it didn't fit, and Pharrell was like, I'm going to get him on the remix. Oh, okay. Well, we got that out of the way. And of course, before we get into your album, is there anyone you haven't done a song with? Yes. Shout that out, please. <laughs> I'd love to do a record with Sade. Get the hell out of here. I know yeah. you're mad at Jay-Z. He did a song with, John, with Sade. See, I didn't even know that, so I'm not mad. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you're a grandpa now. How yeah, does it yeah, feel, yeah. man? You it still look good. young, man. It feels good. I, I am young. I got gray hairs, and I'm not trying to hide them. I'm not going to put that just for me and shit in my hair. What's your, <laughs> what, what's your nigga beauty secret, man? Is it oil or is it water? What the fuck, man? I think it's, huh? I think it's my nigga-ism is... Uh, <laughs> It's a, a, a tribute to greenery, oh. vegetables, oh. water, edibles, Minute Maid fruit punch. Yes. Um, <laughs> Roscoe's chicken and waffle. <laughs> waffle House when I'm down south. <laughs> Are you taking notes, who kid? You need these. Uh, nah, just, you need these I, I tips. I just fuck young bitches, man. Okay, well, that's going to. Hey, hey. <laughs> That'll it's an old nigga I know that's a real f- I ain't gonna say his name on the air but yeah. it's an old nigga I know that, that got that philosophy and he still flies a motherfucker <laughs> man he flies a motherfucker I'm gonna tell you off the air he's a bad motherfucker man let's get into the we're gonna get into the classes we're gonna come back with Bush man we're gonna get into Bush man. Let's, down. let's get into this right now so this is the Bush weekend and ladies open your pussy we're coming in oh boy in your mouth head first <laughs> ooh phone lines are serious right now blowing up if there's a cure for this, I just played that record. That is yeah. ridiculous. And now we're getting into Bush. Explain this cover right here. Please. Well, the cover was done by Pharrell's team, I Am Mother. Um, what I wanted was I wanted for him and his team to actually just take control of the whole project because I've always mm-hmm. been a control freak when it mm-hmm. comes to my records and my, my look and my covers and the direction of the album. So I was like, on this project, Pharrell, I want to make sure that you and your team give Snoop Dogg a makeover, what would you do to Snoop Dogg if you could just do my whole record, if you could design the album cover, if you could direct the videos, mm. and just sit back and just sit in the driver's seat and drive me around? And I said, okay, well, I'm going to sit in the passenger seat and see what you do, and this is what they came up with. Wow, man, I love it, man. That's yo, I had to put it on my Instagram. It's like the coolest fucking look ever. That's cool, right? I mean, it's awesome. It's like so trippy, too, man. It is. The- it was designed by some women. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Get the hey. For real got a hell of a team. He got a bunch of beautiful women around him that just they know how to they know how to do that shit. They tap into the thing that I didn't know how to tap into. I know I got some sexy and some fly in me, but I didn't know how to tap into that cuz mm. gangsters always going to be the, you know, the the main topic of discussion, but at the same time, if you got women involved, you, they'll show you how to tap into that other side, you know, like making records like beautiful and Things of that nature to where, you know, the women really want to give you the pussy that much more. <laughs> you did? Le- legalization of weed is definitely going to go down with this album. You have to smoke weed to enjoy the funk. Yes. The, so you're you're basically, you're, you're, you're attributing, like, the R&B in the, in the 70s. Like, I've always known you that, that that's all you've been repping yeah. for, for, like, years. But, you, I mean, you when you and Fro got together, y'all didn't want to just do the generic nah. hip-hop thing. Like, nah. who? Whose idea was that? That that was you or that y- was, y- 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 y'all came to the collabo? Both of our ideas okay. because... We would get to working on the record, and then I'd be like, "I know you're gonna give me at least one, one hard rap record." Mm. He'd be like, "Yeah, okay, well I am." Then there'd be another R&B song, and there'd be another mm. funk song, and I'm like, "I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna ask this nigga no more. He ain't gonna give me no rap." <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? My mind state was made up that this is this is what it's gonna be. But then when they wanted me to rap on the R&B songs, I would fight them. I'd be like, man, I don't want to rap on this You're shit. singing on there, yeah, and then harmonizing like, and shit. Like, Nigga, you got to drop a verse on there. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Then when I put the verse on, I'm like, mm. damn, that shit sound hard. 
That shit is ridiculous. You so, even, but you got even all the artists to, you know, to, to, to yeah, the, the, get down with the program. Kendrick you, Lamar. T.I. T.I. Rick Ross. Rick Ross. My uh, God. You know what I'm saying? I call on the rappers to come rap for me as opposed to me rapping on the record. You know what I'm saying? I'm singing and they rap. And, you know, N N Nikki, what's this Stevie Wonder thing? You that, I love it. I'm obsessed. And he makes fun of me. He's like, you better control yourself. She's California like, Roll. That is dope, that song. Thank you. She got wet off of that. Well, that's, I, I, that's a hell of a record. That's a point. That's a... Um, it's a song, you know, paying tribute to California and the way we roll. Mm. And it's a California roll thing, too, the way you roll up that thing, too. So it's it's a tribute to a lot. And it's very smooth. It's slow and it's melodic. And it's it's not it's not it's not turn up music. But it's Stevie Wonder. Is that a bucket list right there? Have you done songs with him before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, out. man. <laughs> I took a photo with him, and then uh, I was talking to him because, you know, he was enjoying moisture or whatever yeah, when yeah. I was with him at that party. <laughs> he a bad but, boy. But I was like, yo, yo, this photo came out hot, but I felt bad when I said that because I forgot that he was blind. I no, was like, he, he, no, he funny like that, though. This yeah. nigga came to my, like five years ago, he came to my record release party, right? <laughs> this nigga walked in and was in the middle of the dance floor dancing like a motherfucker. I'm like, this Get out of here. <laughs> Is a complete fool. And he can hear you from like down, like no, down the hallway. No, he's a complete fool. Like he's a fun <laughs> guy. Like he really makes fun of himself and everything about it. Shout out to Awake, which is my favorite song on there. Oh, you like that? I love Awake, man. Yo, that shit right there is smooth as fuck, man. That's well, that is, 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 is that one of your favorites, or That's what, what's that your favorite? Pharrell shit. That Pharrell just know how to just put. He put me in the right zone, the right, the right spirit of making records. You know what I'm saying, like. I'm good at rapping and shit, but when it, when I can make a cool record like that, like you say, that shit is dope to you. Mm -hmm. That means the world to me, like to be able to fall into another zone and be able to still stay Snoop Dogg at the same time. In this fucking uh, this rap fucking society, man, people are just like nervous when it comes to new shit. You you guys went in hard. You, you didn't care about how people are gonna perceive it nah, in the beginning. I didn't want to rap like all of these other rappers is rapping right now with that same cadence. Mm. You know, saying I can do it. <laughs> Do you do you feel that the kids are they are just not fucking like uh I mean what are they stupid or something? I don't no, know. What is it? What I just is feel like it's a young man's game. Okay. And one thing about it being a young man's game, if you older you have to allow them to do what they do. Mm. Remember when we came out when we was young and we was fly when I was young and they didn't understand me. You mm -hmm. know, they was running over my CDs talking about he's the worst nigga ever created. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Until they understood that this style gonna live forever because it's mine mm. and nobody could do my style. Now the ones who creating it gonna live forever but the ones who duplicating gonna fall off. And there's a lot of duplicating going on. I hear the same sound mm. a lot. You know it, what I'm saying? Even the mm -hmm. same beat style. A lot. <laughs> and it used to be a time where back in the days you couldn't do that. That was called biting. Mm. If if I took your shit and, and put it on my shit, that's biting. There was no two rappers who rapped the same in the 80s. Mm. There was no two. It was the only two rappers that was similar was Dana Dane and Slick Rick. They were similar, but they wasn't the same. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, a, I'm a rap historian. In the 90s, there was no two rappers that rapped the same. Yeah, that biting shit was not going 2000, down. 2000, <laughs> it's 100 niggas that rapped the same. I mean, you, know, you I mean, you saw Karis one body fucking uh, what's the he body slammed uh, what's that guy? PM Don? Yeah. <laughs> you remember that shit, right? That's yeah, just... nigga, that's soft off ass shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for hip hop, nigga. You already know. I represent hip hop, man. I don't understand nothing else but it, but I respect the youngsters. I respect the mm. movement because it's a young man's game and I've always been like that. That's why they call me Uncle Snoop because I never mm. disrespected them. I've always treated them as my nephews. Even if I didn't like that shit, I never yeah. told them I don't like it. I tell them, look, maybe you should try to be a little bit more original and not oh. follow the fad. Okay. You know, because the fad is only a fad. That rap style is going to play out in a minute. But if it's yours, it's going to live on forever. Just like when T-Pain came out. T-Pain was the shit. Then everybody took his auto-tune. And went with it. Mm -hmm. Now where's T-Pain? He even got a fucking, where's his hair at? He fucking cut his shit off too, Because man. that's what the game do. The game <laughs> suck you dry. It, it, it takes... It takes from you. You know what I'm saying? It's like the originals <laughs> got to understand when you're original, you got to yeah. find ways to, to diversify your portfolio. In other words, meaning that how I always come back with some different shit. I'm Snoop Dogg at all times, but I'm able to do this, that, 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 and that to where it finally comes back to the point to where I started in 1992. It's My 2015. And I'm still on the radio talking to you about an album I got coming out. 
that's relevant. I'm just so happy I was there when it all started. You, you can't, you, I mean, you have to be there at that moment to, you know, experience that so you can understand what hip hop is. These new kids now, you can't remember what was last year's hit. Nah. Fuck that. It's a shout out to Kendrick Lamar who could have done all the hard shit, yeah. but he came out different also with he, his last he's album. He's a seed. He's yeah. a seed of, of, of great MCs. He's a, as a product of it. So he's, when we planted the seed, he ended up growing into who he is right now. A lot of mm. times you got great MCs who drop seeds all over the world and those seeds grew into MCs who are becoming the real MCs, the ones who are going to be here 10 years from now. Man, so, oh man, I'm just glad you came through today. Are, are you going to vote for me and Walker? We're going for that presidency, <laughs> man. You know, I'm trying to legalize I'm weed. I'm for real niggas at all time. I ain't voting for the, <laughs> to, for the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. What, what do you think about that? I'm voting Hil- for the gangster party. Did you hear about Hillary? If Hillary becomes president, She's going to ban all the legalization of weed. Don't say that. That's what I heard. No, that ain't true. <laughs> yeah, he's such a rumor starter yeah, all that, the time. That, that can't be true because I'm endorsing her right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> and and if, if that's the case, she's going to get unendorsed. See you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. you better fix that shit. Hillary, you listening? Yeah. Huh? Is somebody in that motherfucker listening? Is, is Chelsea, one of y'all, the dog? Let's get to the Bill. <laughs> <laughs> focus, focus, nigga. Don't let her go crazy. Focus. Bill, Bill too busy getting ahead right now. Hey, Bill, you better head your mind in the right direction, man. <laughs> Keep this shit legalized. Obama put it in D.C. That was for a reason. Good looking out, my nigga. <laughs> Let's get to the Bush album, man. I'm about to play a nice mix, all Bush class uh, uh, exclusives right here. And Let's of go. course, we have uh, 25 albums to give away that you can autograph, of course, and we're going to get it popping. Will do, just Th- for you. Thanks for coming <laughs> out, man, Mr. Snoopy. Ooh. Hey. Uh, Kid. In your mouth. <laughs> Nikki, you, you, you wet? We out. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Oh, totally. isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. I love Snoop. I uh, know. <laughs> Give him some head now if you want. <laughs> <laughs>